My name is uh, Curtis Hierro. I'm a graduate student in history here at UCF. I'm also part of the RSO Student Labor Action Project. Uh, just a couple years ago, we came to administration with a uh, request to stop its relationship with uh, Russell Athletic, who uh, was connected to sweatshop labor abroad. And we, I'd like to thank the administration a couple years ago. Y'all didn't uh, renew your agreement with Russell, and we took care of that. So that was a really great accomplishment. I'm here today, uh, obviously my friend Lewis came up and articulated kind of our views on the way workers are uh, treated on campus. And a lot of what I hear is, oh, you know, and this is the same kind of, uh, you know, rhetoric you hear across the nation, times are tough, we have to make cuts. But I feel as a university, we shouldn't just be market level with everyone. We should be setting the standard for the way workers and students are treated on this campus. So uh, Student Labor Action Project has been working on a set of proposals that we feel would uh, uh, better the university and for both students, workers, faculty in regards to oversight of what corporations could be brought to campus, in regards to uh, worker wages. Uh, right now, the workers here at, at UCF pay the highest parking fee than uh, any other workers in the state of Florida. That, that, that's fact, and that's in the hands of the university, not the state. So. Um, you know, I came to this university in 2006, and I've watched it grow, and, and under uh, y'all's tenure, it, it, it's been, you know, we've really become one of the top universities in the nation, and, and that's fantastic. Uh, you know, coming, uh, I'm a first-generation college student. My father's a Cuban immigrant. Um, neither of my parents even made it out of high school. So UCF has given me fantastic opportunities, and indeed for me, UCF has stood for opportunity. But I think it's time that we get serious about UCF standing for opportunity for also the campus workers, for the faculty, for everyone else who keeps this university going. So I would like to ask Dr. Hitt, would it be acceptable for to make an appointment where uh, we have drafted proposals where we could come discuss uh, these issues with you? Obviously, they're uh, a bit more uh, refined than what I can say to you in five minutes. I'd be happy to receive the proposal. Whether we can work out the time for the discussion, we'll see. But I'd be happy to get your uh, written uh, proposals. 